Lucky found 825 in pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters walking home from school one day. When she deposited the money in the bank, she noticed that she had twice as many nickels as pennies, one fewer dime than nickels, and one more quarter than nickels. How many quarters did Lucky find this week? Okay, so I'm going to set this up into a matrix, and I'm going to let the letters P, N, D, and Q represent pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters, respectively. So, it'd be, I'm making my equations here, 1P plus 0.05N plus 0 0.10 plus 0.25Q equals 825. This is how much it is worth for each coin and the total amount. All right, now what is the first thing we need to translate into an equation? She knows she had twice as many nickels as pennies. So if the two are going to be equal, right now she has twice as many nickels. She has twice as many nickels as she has pennies. So if the two are going to be equal, she has twice as many as this amount, we need to double the pennies, and now they're equal. So for instance, if they had 10 nickels, then she only had 5 pennies. She has twice as many nickels. But when I take it times 2, now I have the same amount of coins. One fewer dime than nickels. One fewer dime than nickels. So if they're going to be equal, right now you have fewer dimes. By how many? By one. So if I add one more, now I have an equal amount of coins. The last one is you have one more quarter than nickels. So you have more quarters than you have nickels by one. But if I add one to nickels, because it was one less than, you had one more quarter than nickels. If I add one more to the nickels, now the two would be equal. Okay, let's put this now into a matrix. What are the dimensions? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm five going across and four going down. So 0 0.01, 0 0.05. 0 0.10, 0.25, and 8.25. Okay, so this first one, I'm going to line it up. Again, this is pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and what you have for money. So <clears throat> in this line, I'm going to take the positive, two at, positive 2p, and when it comes across the equal sign, it becomes negative. So this is going to be a negative 2. And I have 1n. There are no dimes, no quarters, and no additional um, numbers here. Okay, in this problem, there are no p's. Um, there is 1n. When the d comes across the equal sign, it becomes negative 1. There are no q's. And the number 1 remains on the right by itself. In the last equation, there are no p's. When the n comes across, it becomes a negative 1. There are no d's. The q, there's one q and a positive 1. So going to your calculator here. Second plus 7, 1, 2. Second matrix, we are going to edit it. Again, this is a 4 by 5. 4 rows, 5 columns. So we're going to start with 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.25, and 8.25. Negative 2, 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1. 0, negative 1, 0, 1, and 1. Second quit, second matrix. Go to RREF, second matrix. And what does this represent? This is the number of, in order, pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters.